Hello and welcome to our IV cannulation insertion mini clip. Let's begin with step one. Make sure you have all the equipment to hand ready to cannulate. Choose an arm to cannulate. See if the patient has a preference. Keep in mind pre-existing medical conditions may prevent you using an arm. In most cases, it's the patient's non-dominant arm that is used. Step two, rest the arm on a pillow and place a field under the arm for any blood spillage when cannulating. Step three, inspect the arm to find a suitable cannulation site, starting from distal, beings working your way proximally. In emergency situations, larger veins may be more suitable. Avoid areas near any joints, elbow, wrist, and any area where two veins meet should be avoided as valves are usually present in those areas. Step 4. Position the patient's arm in a contour position where access to the chosen site is available. Apply a tourniquet 4 to 5 finger width above the planned site and then palpate the vein to make sure it's suitable. Once you have located the vein, clean the area with an alcohol swab. Working your way from the center of the site going outwards. 30 seconds cleaning and then 30 seconds to dry. Step 5. Remove the cannula sheath and prepare the cannula. Some clinicians choose to loosen the lock plug as it can make it easier to take it off when the cannula is ported. Spread the catheter wings, slightly withdraw and replace the needle as it can help to make it easier during cannulation. Step 6. Anchor the vein you're choosing to cannulate by pulling the skin distal to the insertion site. Communicate with the patient that they will feel a sharp scratch. Step 7. Insert the cannula around 10 to 30 degrees directly above the vein with the bevel facing upwards. Once you get flashback in the flashback chamber, lower the cannula, then advance a further 2mm to ensure it's within the vein's lumen. Partially withdraw the needle to make sure the needle is within the plastic catheter of the cannula. Keep in mind blood should be observed entering the plastic tubing of the cannula at this point. Carefully advance the cannula into the vein while withdrawing the needle until the cannula is fully inserted and the needle is removed. Place the needle in a sharps bin and place pressure on the proximal vein close to the top of the cannula. Then place a lock plug on the cannula lip. Step 8. Release tourniquet and spit the site for early signs of the biter. Secure the wings with adhesive tape and flush with saline. Observe any signs of swelling around the site. And remember, once it's inserted, it should be replaced every 72 to 96 hours.